I want to now share with you my recipe for a fantastic bake. This is a Port Merion roasting dish that also fits onto the runners as well. And in here I've got some um, sweet potato, some butternut squash and some parsnip. Now, there's a little cheat to this recipe. If you want to cook it a bit quicker, you can parboil these previously and then pop them inside the dish. This is the Port Merion collection, which is suitable to use from the freezer, fridge, arger, onto the runners, onto the table, and better still, into the dishwasher. So we love all this cookware, it's fantastic. So I've already parboiled those a little bit, and you can see the beautiful colours on there. Now this dish is also suitable um, for vegans and vegetarians. You just have to change the ingredients slightly, which I'll come to right now. So what I've done here in this little um, sauce pot with a pouring lip is I've infused some cream and some milk with onion and some thyme. All right, and now I'm going to actually add that now to this. Now you can get vegan um, alternatives to these as well. So it works very, very well with either. You can strain this off or you can be thrifty penny and you can actually use the whole lot. So I'm gonna tip that now all over the top of that. No calories, <laughs> I lie. <laughs> Let's put that over there. Now actually, before I do that, let me just show you, lid on the handle comes off. So today I'm not making a bread sauce, but this makes a lovely um, container to actually cook your bread sauce. You keep that warm in your simmering ovens or in your warming ovens as well, because the handle does come off. So just bear that in mind. So back over here, you've got a bird's eye view there, ladies, haven't you? And give that a little mix round. If you don't like onion, you know, you don't want a lot of onion, you can strain this off. No problem. Oh, it smells so nice. What, you liking the look of this one? What was the veg, <laughs> what was the veg in there again? Yeah, so we've got butternut squash, we've got parsnip, and we've got sweet potato. This will work well with any root vegetables. If you wanted to use a swede in there, or there's one of the root vegetables you don't like, you can change that up, absolutely. So there we go, that's looking good already. Yeah? And now I'm gonna pop some cheese on the top. Again, you can use a um, vegan alternative or a vegetarian um, cheese as well to go on the top. So now I've got mixture here and this dish actually works really well with leftover cheeses from the cheese board. You can even put a bit of blue cheese and things on, on there. Works really, really nice with um, cold turkey or cold ham. So on we go. Oh, it looks quite festive, that, do you think? Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Okay, so where am I going to cook it? Well, I'm actually going to cook it in my baking oven. If you don't have a baking oven, you can still cook it in your roasting oven. You just use the plain cold shelf that we're used to using just to reduce the temperature if your cheese is browning a little bit too quickly. So into my baking oven down here. You can see that I've moved the shelf. I've placed it on the floor of the oven. I don't actually need my shelf for the whole dinner because actually I'm going to use cookware that goes onto the runners, which means, guys, you can fit far more into that oven cavity. So if I just take that out now and move that to the side, I'm now going to pop this gorgeous festive bake into my baking oven. On to the second set of runners from the top, I think. In we go. She says. I'm doing that one there, on the bottom. Can you see the space there? It's gone right to the back, and I can actually fit another one alongside it as well. You fit much, much more in if you use the cookware that goes onto the runners.